Hello there everyone, it's Gaza D and I apologize for the really bad audio today. I'm recording from my PS5 controller and I am ill, so I am so sorry about that. But we have got a lot to talk about today, and I mean a lot. Ever since Suicide Squad came out and what they have done to Kevin Conroy's last performance as the Arkham Batman is disgraceful. And I mean disgraceful. We're not even going to hold back. We're just going to jump straight into it. It's made me angry. It's made a lot of people angry. That was our Batman. He's been our Batman for over 30 years for most people. And it is devastating that Rocksteady would turn around and do this. It's quite terrible. Um, I'm in shock about it. A lot of people are in shock about it. Think about this, okay? Think about this. We've sat and completed three games with the Arkham Batman. Four games if we include Origins, which I'm going to include. So four games with the ba Arkham Batman, even though Origins was not Kevin Conroy, okay? But it's the same Batman. We went through these four games with that one Batman. And for what? For him to get took out like a little brat on a park bench by Harley Quinn. It makes no sense. We've seen this Batman defeat most of his rogue gallery in one night in a locked off island in Arkham Asylum. And then we've seen him take down a whole lockdown city full of villains. Just, you understand the point. The man can take down a whole militia and still walk away not even taking a hit. That's the thing that upsets me the most. We had the most strongest version of Batman and look what happened. Look what happened. And I don't understand why Rocksteady would do this just to so they can push their new Harley Quinn game. Yeah, for me it's not even a Justice League a Suicide Squad game. It's basically Harley Quinn kills Batman game. And it is terrible. I've not played it yet. From what I've seen of it, I'm not going to be buying it until it's on deal. If I will be buying it. Um, I was going to buy it. And then I seen that Batman dies. And it put me right off. Because them game, that game series is... It just means a lot, man. And so does Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy means a lot to me. Um, he was basically my throughout my whole childhood with the animated series, with the Justice League series, with the Batman Arkham games, just and the animated movies in general, just he was Batman and they snubbed him out on a park bench just like that. It's devastating. Absolutely devastating. I seen a video the other day that perfectly makes sense if you actually sit down and think about it from the way the guy described it is rock city is not the same company it was 10 years ago when it made the arkham trilogy um think about it this way as i quote what this other youtuber has said is is the same ship the same ship once the crew has left and the new crew has joined? I don't think it is. You might be named the same ship, but it doesn't operate the same. Nothing inside that ship works the same as the legendary ship it used to be. And that's what I personally think happened. All these people have lost, left Rock City and new people have joined. And look what's happened. Look what's happened. Um, there's even a scene now, like, just little stupid things in the game um, that I'm not trying to be bad about saying, but they have Harley Quinn full on groping Captain Boomerang's butt. Come on, man. If that was the other way around, there would be a lot, a lot of stick about it. There would be a lot of people angry, a lot of people annoyed. And it's just all these little decisions about this game that 
that's not our rock steady man rock steady's not good and also I've seen in another person's video explain the exact same person explaining character bios it's like they've sort of cared more about their female characters than their male characters um, apparently Wonder Woman's bio is much much longer say to compare to Flash's bio um, yeah it's just it's not the same company anymore and I personally think this was the death of Rocksteady. Why couldn't they have just gave us the Batman Beyond game that we were all wanting? That we were all waiting for? Because that's the only way that continuing Arkhamverse should have happened. It's the only way. Or at least, if it was going to go down the way they were going, Bring back Arkham Batman and make him join the Justice League, but let us play through that. Let us play through, play through him coming back and joining the Justice League and all that stuff. Because I feel like we've missed out on something here and it is absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Now, I've had my little ramble. I go talk about what's coming up on the channel in the next couple of weeks. I've been ill, so I've not been really able to record anything. Um, my throat's been messing up quite bad. My throat sort of gone. My voice sort of gone, I meant. Whoa. Hiccups. Oh no, not during recording. Go away. Um, yeah. I am currently trying to platinum the Arkham Trilogy in a video, and I've I'm going to be taking my time with that, but that will be coming out eventually. I have just nearly platinumed Arkham Asylum just the way to move on to Arkham City, so that'll be fun once that comes. Um, a lot more just like challenge modes on Arkham and live streams on all that stuff, and I will be continuing Mass Effect Fallout 4. I'll be starting at one point and finishing finally Vice City, that definitely needs to be done here so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed um i'll just let you watch the rest of this cat woman versus cheetah fight uh yeah thank you for listening to my rambling and yeah goodbye thank you bye <laughs>